reptile on the back should counter an aqua, but that's not the case because we have a god aqua. What's going on, Axie fam? Elijah here, back with another video, and boy, do I have a big one for you today. We're gonna be looking at possibly the most destructive Axie in all of Classic right now. A new god aqua that has emerged. I'm currently using it and ranked 92 on the leaderboard. And before I jump into that content, guys, I just wanna let you know, my creator code is now live, so head to the shop in Axie Classic Classic. scroll to the right you can enter in Elijah here it helps support the channel and if we do well on the classic creator leaderboard I'll do a giveaway at the end of the season I got a late start because our code wasn't working but now it is and if you're gonna buy something like a premium pass which I recommend for every serious player to do it's 30 bucks it actually makes your rewards way higher as well you earn a bunch of AXS and SLP as you climb the ranks if you go high enough it basically pays for itself and these artifacts they're very, very important for winning games. I have a whole video on it that I just made if you need to learn and understand how they work. Also, if you're having a hard time bridging over USDC to the game, you're gonna need a keyless wallet, which I also made a video on. So you can go back and watch that. It'll take you less than five minutes to do the step. And even if you don't buy anything in the shop, just by entering my code, whenever you log into Classic each day and win a game, it helps our points as well. So just make sure to enter that if you wish to support the channel. If not, support your favorite creator it's a good thing to do and without further ado let's jump into the content so the axie that I'm referring to in this video is none other than this perfectly built pliers and spiky wing aqua this axie is absolutely terrifying the damage output on it is completely absurd you actually don't even need to worry when you're climbing up the ranks versus reflectiles or really beefy teams that might seem like they would beat you they won't most of the time purely on your raw damage output if we take a look at the leaderboard currently rank one is playing this axie on an unko team and if we count it out there's one two three four currently in the top 15 on the leaderboard and there's slightly different variations to them it looks like this kataro rice plant is pretty popular as a midline for it but for me personally right now i'm running it with the goda sandal cattail plant and then at the midline i have a really beautiful plant that has kataro scarab hatsune it can sometimes just barely pull it off for me against the immortal bugs at the midline if I end up in a 1v1 and then here we can see in game just this beautiful sequence of cards now most of the time when you play this you're gonna want to lead with spiky and go right into the pliers rather than risk playing spiky and then risky fish breaking the shield and not allowing the damage of the pliers to take effect and then of course for your coys you're probably gonna want to hang on to these until later on in the match against other aquas to give yourself a chance of winning in 1v1s although that can be tricky and you can end up in some tough situations against faster builds, but that's just something that you're gonna have to navigate. Ideally, allowing your plant to live in the midline for as long as possible so that it can chip away at their back line and then you can finish them off. That's usually how you end up winning with this Axie against other Aquas. But guys, I wanted to jump into a game I played today against one of the best players in Axie Classic, and I'm talking about Chan from YGG. So we had a really interesting match. I'm gonna go ahead and break it down for you guys. You know, matchup wise, this can go either way. He has the backdoor ability to wipe out my Aqua and I'm often gonna struggle against this Immortal Bug. Even though I have some counters to it, I can prevent it from healing. I can also disable ranged cards, which would shut down his Parasite. It's gonna be difficult for me in a 1v1 no matter what, especially because he has a completely cracked out version. This thing has plant eyes and ears and 32 speed, meaning my Kataro isn't even going to gain me energy which is brutal and then of course I don't have a zero cost to work around the snail shell so that's another tricky thing for me round one it's a pretty easy pass for me I don't have a great set of options and then here I have a pretty nice draw I get spiky I get pliers I have damage up front and beach and there's no reason in my mind why I don't play all these cards and wipe out this plant we get a really nice start he plays four cards two cactuses a scarab and a herbivore He's gonna get absolutely no value for it. That's four energy down the drain. However, it's not over yet by any means because like I said, that immortal bug versus a plant, not too hot for me. And now we end up in round four with him having taken another pass. And this is an interesting one for me because I think about playing aqua cards, think about playing godas, but at the end of the day, I don't really see what I'm accomplishing by doing that. Chipping away with this aqua damage on the bug doesn't really do much for me in the following round when he gets to just heal up with mosquito versus my plants. It's actually a waste of energy. So after considering all of that, I actually decide to just get wrecked here 
without spending any energy. I kind of suspected this was going to happen. It looks like he plays the right amount of damage. He spends all of his energy there. He wanted to protect his bug. He thought maybe I would be throwing some firepower. He played a snail shell, so that's good that one of those is gone. And now he has two energy. The ball is a little bit back in my court here. And I also here suspected the egg and wish I played hot soon. Not one of my scarabs because now I'm wasting an anti-heal on a dawn when I really want that card for the bug. However, this is not the end of the world for me. We don't get go to value, which also kind of hurts. He doesn't play his other cottontail, but I do gain two more energy with Kataros. The hot soon to finish it off would have been nice, but instead we use a scarab. And here we are having to navigate some pretty tricky waters. So this is another spot where I can think about attacking, but why? If he plays a snail shell, I'll be stunned. He has mosquitoes to heal up later. Of course, I know he has eight cards and two parasites are coming. I'm just praying that they get rid of the hot soons and not the damage cards. But luckily we keep our sandal, which is big damage on a bug. So we're very happy about that. I can lead with that this turn with my frontline plant before it dies. And I draw four cards on my midliner. We're actually going to get in a ton of damage here with all four of these cards, including a cactus. I am eyeing up a victory in the following turn. And here I'm suspecting perhaps two snails for 120 shield plus two other cards for over 170, considering how weak he is. So I'm trying to get my ordering right. And this is so incredibly painful because as we can see, he has 162 shield. I play my scarab, my hot soon. He has 58 shield. Shield Hot Soon does exactly 58 damage. I'm stunned. My cactus doesn't go through, but I think the biggest play of the game here is the following turn. He has tons of energy. He can't play Parasites, but I know he can play Mosquitoes and Snail. However, he cannot heal. So I'm actually not expecting him to put up a bunch of cards here, and I only have two energy. So for me to try to spend two energy here to get the kill, hoping that, you know, one Scarab attacks and the other one punches through the shield and does enough damage is pretty unrealistic and I'm anticipating exactly what he does which is this single snail shell and I figured in order to win this I have to just play one card and it's going to be a scarab to prevent him from healing next turn and that's exactly what I do when he plays a single snail I don't waste my second energy I put in just enough damage and I know I need three energy here for max defense in the next round because if I survive I win he only has 30 HP and finally here I don't know if he misclicked or didn't realize that he had anti-heal on but he only plays one mosquito and two parasites not sure why but it doesn't matter because even if he had an extra 108 damage i would have lived through that i would have finished him off and that is gg no matter what we get it done win by a hair and i thought that was just a pretty intense game against chan let's check another game here against the discard team so i don't draw pliers on my aqua in the beginning but i go ahead and spend all three aqua cards damage and I play two sandals to finish off his plant. Now we're going to have to deal with this pesky bug and a reptile again, which on paper shouldn't really be a good matchup for us, but we're just going to take our time with this. I think I play passively there and it works out great. Just the scarab to prevent healing on the next round. And now I play risky fish to chip away at this bug and I'm looking for just the right amount of damage. Hopefully I have it here. I don't really have a really great number of cards. Puts the bug at 23 health. I do draw two pliers. I go for it and just enough, 166 damage. This bug is supposed to live here. It puts up a snail and it puts up a mosquito. And with the one plier, I can take it down. And again, as I mentioned earlier with the aquas, this is kind of how you need to win games. It's by having the second plant alive for one turn while you redraw on your aqua. So this is often what I need to have happen against reptiles or against aquas that are faster than me. And once we're at this point, I'm really confident. I want to get rid of the stun. I use Koi to do that so I can make sure that my spiky wing's active. I'm hoping for a good draw. I do get it. We're going to go spiky wing pliers, 264 shield. Watch this, guys. 191 damage, risky fish to follow, Koi to follow, GG. And again, scary looking teams for me. Bug at the mid should counter a plant. Reptile on the back should counter an aqua. But that's not the case because we have a god aqua. But that's the break. Down. That's the team I'm using and the Aqua that I'm currently really, really enjoying playing with. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Use code Elijah if you enjoy the content. I love you guys. I hope you're enjoying season five. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.